with more on this power sharing agreement. So what will it mean? So, guys, the big thing here is that Democrats will now take control of these Senate committees. And when you're in control, you're setting the agenda. And that means uh, that things in Joe Biden's agenda that they wanted to get ahead, that President Biden's agenda that they wanted to push ahead, like Merrick Garland's nomination for attorney general, can now move forward. You'll remember uh, there has been a holdup on some of these nominees, including Merrick Garland, most notably, who is his nominee to be attorney general, because Republicans maintained control of these committees because they had to operate off the last Congress because they didn't have this agreement in place. So now that Democrats uh, will take over these committees, that means the Democrats are going to have a much easier time getting things uh, on, on the table, getting things through. They're going to hold control. So we expect now that someone like Merrick Garland, who should get bipartisan support, uh, will now get to go through the process much easier uh, than when Republicans were holding control over the Senate Judiciary Committee, for example. So that's a big example of what this will mean. It was also interesting. You heard the majority leader there, Chuck Schumer, uh, talking a little bit about this, what this means. He also said that one of the key issues he is encouraging these committees to focus on is climate change. And he encouraged uh, the committee chairman to begin uh, holding hearings about climate change and how they can enact Biden's Build Back Better agenda. So you're going to start to see things move. But of course, Jim and Poppy, we've been following uh, the negotiations about this power sharing agreement for weeks now as they as he and Mitch McConnell work to hammer this out it kind of dragged on but now that they've got this agreement things can move forward and that's that's the real key takeaway here